Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the 2018 FIFA World Cup DLC for FIFA 18. And today we're going to be Serbia. We have to randomize the groups as we always do. So in three, two, one, boom. And we're still in Group E, but this time we've got Portugal, Senegal, and Egypt to contend with. Quite a tough group for Serbia. But I'm hoping we can get the job done. It says here that Serbia's best result was 4th place back in 1930 and 1962. I imagine that was part of uh, Yugoslavia. Let's have a look at the squad for Serbia today. So we've got Mitrovic up front who currently plays for Fulham. And he has broken the record in the championship for the most goals. He scored like 40 or something like that. That is madness from Mitrovic. Like, even though it's a championship, scoring 40 goals in one season, that is very, very respectable. So, hopefully he can do that here in this World Cup. Um, we got Lajic in the middle here. We got Tadic on the right. We got Matic in the middle. We got Milikovic Savic in the middle. Um, who else have we got? Kolarov on the left back position. Who else have we got on this team? We got Gruic, who plays for Liverpool right now. I'm We've got Bratislav Ivanovic as well, centre-back. And who else have we got here? We've got Jovic as well. I'm guessing that's the one that signed for Real Madrid. Um, so it'll be great to have him on uh, because he is a fairly decent-ish striker. Um, who else have we got on the team? Um, a lot of like names that I don't really recognise, unfortunately. Uh, we've got this guy who uh, used to play for Benfica. We can throw him on as well. We also have Nastasic as well, who used to play for Man City, I believe. Did he used to play for Man City? I can't remember, but um, yeah. I do know a few of my Serbian players, obviously. And our first match is against Egypt on legendary difficulty, because, as I always say, it is the best way to play the game. First match then against Egypt. A tough match. Never underestimate Egypt. If you want my early prediction, I think if I'm lucky and get out the group stage... Um, round of 16, I think. Round of 16 with Serbia. I think that would be a very good run with them. Obviously, we're getting through this DLC now. There's only, I worked out around about, I want to say 15 nations left that I want to use. Um, excluding Russia for now because obviously current events and stuff like that. Serbia in 2022, they are going to Qatar and um, I hope to see them do well in the 2022 World Cup. Here comes Kolarov off the bar. Kolarov getting forward and almost scoring there. I used Kolarov actually on um, FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. I used to use him on free kicks because his shot power would be like rated, I don't know, around about like 90 or something like that. Which is insane for a left back. Through ball, Mitrovic on the ball. I doubt Mitrovic will be as good um, as he is right now. Because obviously um, he's definitely developed since 2018. But I'm sure that he can still be effective. Here comes Kostic. Twisting and turning in the box. Into the middle here. It's Nemanja Matic. And it loops onto the crossbar. The keeper left standing. Kostic, that was a really poor shot. Mitrovic. He's still got it. And oh, saved by the Egyptian goalkeeper. A little bit of um, confusion in the box. When I shot initially because it came off the defender but the shot just wasn't powerful enough. Collar off the cross is in. It's headed and oh just wide and it's going to be another corner to Serbia. Collar off to whip that in again. Headed again and yes we scored. Nice and it counted as well. It wasn't offside or anything like that. And I think, was that Milikovic Savic that scored that? I'm not entirely sure. Um, it looks like it. I'm... Um, Bit of a random goal, I crossed it in, headed down onto the ground and we just tapped it in. Nice goal, it was lucky it wasn't offside and it was Milikovic Savic with the goal. I'm fairly sure he played for Lazio at this time, I'm not sure if he's still there though, he probably isn't. You know, this game is almost, well it actually is, four years out of date. Here comes Egypt, down to Salah. He's going to go for it and he just puts it wide. We've got to watch out for Mohamed Salah because he will be dangerous cutting inside the box and stuff like that. But Serbia leading 1-0 at half-time, thanks to that man there. And um, decent performance so far. I still can't get a hold on possession here. Egypt have done well to move the ball around and keep it away from me for quite a long time. But here comes Lajic into the middle here. Back to Mitrovic. He's going to go for it. It's blocked. And again, oh, how did you put that wide? 
Oh, Mitrovic. How are you putting that wide? It was right in front of goal. Egypt playing a very defensive game. So are Serbia, to be honest. I think this one goal might be enough to get past this stubborn Egypt side. It might not be, though. Here comes Kostic. Back into the middle. It's Mitrovic, and yes, nice one. Finally, we double our advantage, and that is 2-0 to Serbia. Nice one. And I like to see that Mitrovic actually has a proper character model because he's got a tattoo on his neck there. That's good. It's not just like a standard player model like it was with, like, so many other players that you get on this game. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. I don't know why I pressed the X button in that situation, but okay, we gave away a, a penalty in the 93rd minute. It's just going to be a caution from the referee. Bit unnecessary, really. We didn't need to slide tackle in that situation, but it's fine, whatever. We'll see if we can save this penalty now from Mohamed Salah. He might give e Egypt a consolation. Yes, he has. And that is a 2-1. And that's it. Serbia have taken this one 2-1 against Egypt. And a great start for them. Good building block to get out of this group. Now it's either against Portugal or Senegal. So how did Portugal get on against Senegal? I imagine that was close. Oh, maybe not. 5-0 to Portugal. Here we go then. Second match against another African team. This time Senegal. I would have said that... Well, I still think that... Senegal are stronger than Egypt because they've got better attacking options and better defensive options. But the way that Portugal dealt with them, 5-0, okay, well, it gives us hope that we can do the same. I don't see us moving the ball around too freely in this one, but that was an excellent ball and, oh, what a save and a double save by the goalkeeper. Here comes Balde running into the box. There's literally no one near him and he almost scores straight up. Oh, that was just a little bit embarrassing from the Serbian defence, just letting him basically run in there and almost tap it in. Through ball, that's a lovely through ball. Into the middle, can we score? Yes, we have. It was a weak shot, but it doesn't matter. And Kostic has opened the scoring. 1-0. It was just a great pass. This was a good pass, and then we just found him on the edge of the box there coming in. So we just let him strike that. Good team play from Serbia. Tadic. Into the middle to Mitrovic. Twist and turn. Go on. Uh, cut out by Senegal. Done pretty well here as Serbia to get forward. That was a brilliant ball. And oh, what a save. Some of these crosses by Serbia have been pretty much world class. And then, But the goalkeeper just kept us out there. What a save. Crossed in by Senegal. And they scored. Okay. Well, some brilliant crosses going on. And who was that that scored the goal there? Was that Mami Juf that scored? I think it was. And that is going to be 1-1. One, one. How come Mami Juf on this game is like somehow world class? But when he played for Stoke, he wasn't really that good. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's 1-1. One, one. Like, every time I play Senegal, Mami Juf always scores against me. Here comes Senegal. We're a little bit too open right now. Come on, get back. Oh, this is going to be a goal, isn't it? I can't get anywhere near him. And that's a second goal for Senegal. They turn it around and again it's Mami Juf. How come he puts in world-class performances against me? So annoying, dude. Again, my defence was just not very good there. And we conceded because of... It's half-time anyway and it is 2-1 to Senegal. Not completely out of reach, but we just need to watch out for our defending. Through ball here. And we got it still. And we snuck it in and it's 2-2. How did the goalkeeper not save that? It's Dustan Tadic with the goal. 2-2 now. What a game. How did we out-muscle this defender here? We pushed him over and then we just slotted it in. The goalkeeper probably wasn't ready for the defender error. And um, yeah, decent strike. Why is the foot animation as well? I just noticed that. Why is the shooting animation so weird? So this guy. Can we? Should we go for it? I reckon we should. Okay, it's deflected. Is that going to stay on? It is going to stay on. Oh, the header wasn't met. We go for it. Oh, again, just wide from Serbia. Through ball. Nemanja Matic. Back to Lajic. He's running. Lots of space. Into the box here. Grujic. He scored. Nice one. And the substitute has made it 3 2. And this is huge for Serbia. They could be going through on this result if it sticks like this. 
Great ball into the box here. And we score from that angle again. It seems like scoring from that angle is overpowered or something. Because we just did it with Bridge, who is um, obviously a substitute for Serbia. And um, yeah, 3 2. What a game. Uh oh. Senegal into the middle. Get rid of it. Oh, I think that's gone out for a goal kick, I believe. And um, it doesn't matter actually, because we just won the game 3 2, and Serbia are going to the round of 16. Nice one. We dealt with Senegal quite well, despite conceding two goals to that man there. Um, he always puts in good performances against me. This one is for the top spot in the group. Both of these teams have six points. And Senegal and Egypt have been eliminated from the group stages. So we've got to put in a strong performance here against Portugal. These two sides have faced each other quite frequently in qualifying. Um, I'm fairly sure there was like a, um, a moment, like a moment of controversy. I can't put my finger on it, but um, something happened which made Ronaldo storm off the field against Serbia. Crossed in by Ronaldo, headed away by Serbia. They shot, oh what, that came out of nowhere, that was absolutely out of nowhere, and um, William scores to make it 1-0, William Carvalho I believe, he just took the ball away from me, they passed it to him, and he just shot, caught my keeper off guard, and yeah, that was a nice goal, okay, well, it's 1-0 to Portugal already, here comes Tadic, he's running, can we turn? Yes, we lost that man there into the box, but it's just... Oh, hang on, there's a penalty. I just got hacked out by Jose Font, and yeah, penalty. Okay, fair enough. Why did he go for that tackle? Can we see it again? Potentially, or maybe not. What actually happened? I turned him, I know that, and oh, I went in for the slide and took him, took him out, and now it's Kolarov's chance to make it 1-1. I hope he can. He goes for it, yes! What a nice penalty, and it is a 1-1, back on level terms. Here comes Tadic, he's running. Can he get in a ball? Yes, that's another great ball, and what a save by the goalkeeper, could not get the rebound. They go for it, oh my goodness! What a strike, and what a save by Rio Patricio. That should have gone straight in, I, I wish it did, but... Corner to Serbia, Kolarov crosses it in, it's headed, and it's in! I think that was Lajic that scored, and what a ball by Kolarov. Yes, it was Lajic, and it is 2-1 now to Serbia, just before half-time. That's just when you want to score. We're looking good right now, looking like a strong attacking side. Some good options on this team to get goals from. Only 14 minutes to play, can we hold on? We've done really well defensively against this Portugal side. Okay, they did score one goal, but that was only just a random finesse shot on the edge of the box. Portugal have one final opportunity. Silva, we missed the header. They go for it. Oh, I think that was Pepe who missed that one. No, it wasn't. I think it was João Mario, sorry. I mean, our substitutes are coming on. It's a bit too late for that, but they missed a massive opportunity. We are gonna take all nine points here incredible work from Serbia to get all nine points from that tough group and we march into the round of 16 and I'm hoping our opponent isn't too hard so Serbia get all nine points Portugal finish second and those two drew at the bottom of the table and we have got Wales for our next game that's pretty decent but don't underestimate them so England beat Germany 1-0 Denmark beat Nigeria 3-1 then we've got Serbia versus Wales, Brazil versus France, Netherlands beating Chile 2-0, Belgium beating Sweden 4-0, Poland versus Portugal, and yet again, Spain versus Croatia. Never ever underestimate Wales on this game, because although a lot of people might think, oh, it's only Wales, you'll beat them, they have had me a couple of times in previous runs. Tadic, go for the strike, oh, what a save by Hennessy, and it's a corner to Serbia. Here comes Ramsey, he crosses it in for Bale, oh off the post, how does Bale get that kind of shot off when the defender was right next to him? Folks crosses it in for Gareth Bale, he heads it and oh I thought that went in, I honestly did because like, the goalkeeper did some weird animation, Gareth Bale already making his presence known, look at this shot as well, so lucky that I actually hit the post. Crossed in, Serbia go for it, yes it's headed in and none other than
Damn, that man again is Lyot. She's been really good at headering the ball. And Mitrovic provided him a really nice ball. Serbia's crossing is exceptional so far. Here comes Gareth Bale. Great ball to him, but we cut it out. Wales just need to find other avenues because I'm hyper-focusing defending on Gareth Bale because obviously that's going to be the main man. But um, it's half-time and it is 1-0 to Serbia. So we're in control. Can we just hold on so we can get past Wales here and get a quarter-final matchup between either France or Brazil? Into the middle here, Mitrovic. Goes for the strike and it's just gone underneath the Welsh keeper. And that is 2-0. You have to think now that Serbia are in full control of this one. Because, well, <laughs> what a performance from Mitrovic in this one. One assist and a now a goal. You have to think Serbia are going to come out on top in this one. All we did was just through ball it. Turn round and just do a finesse shot. And it went in anyway. Comes Serbia. Looking dangerous. Up to Mitrovic. You have to think. Yep, yeah, nice one. 3-0 and it's pretty much all over. Mitrovic has been absolutely amazing in this match. Have Serbia now found the kind of rhythm and form that they need to actually go on and win this World Cup? Could they go on and do a Croatia and um, reach the final? Wales have 15 minutes to mount the best comeback everybody's ever seen, but not with crosses like that they won't. I think it's pretty much dead and buried now for Wales. Their World Cup run has been ended by a superb Serbia side. Matic. Jemanja Matic, he scores to make it 4-0 against Wales. This has been a complete walkover for Serbia. Just an amazing performance. Even Matic getting on the score sheet there, coming forward and just charging through. I made him think twice because I thought that I was going to pass it to Mitrovic, but I didn't. And I just went on and just struck it with Matic. This has to be it now. Surely it has to be. Yeah, Serbia have beaten Wales 4-0. What a result that was. I said at the start it was going to be a close game. Obviously not. And um, that was an insane performance from Serbia. Can we take that kind of performance into the quarterfinals, either against France or Brazil? So who got through then? So obviously we did. So who do we face? It's Brazil. They squeezed by France 1-0. Poland lost against Portugal and Spain beat Croatia. Here we go then. Quarterfinal time against Brazil. This might be where the run ends. But honestly, it's been a good run. Here come Brazil, Coutinho out on the wing, into the middle of the box. Gabriel Jesus and he scores immediately in six minutes to make it 1-0 to Brazil. Couldn't stop him and will this be an absolute rout for Brazil against Serbia here? Twisting and turning, he crosses it in and Brazil almost got a second for Binio missing that chance. Just haven't been able to find any kind of movement in this game from Serbia. Every time I make a pass going upfield, it will get cut out or tackled like that. Neymar out on the wing. Will he cross it? No, just a short one to Fabinho. He goes down and the referee has... What's he done here? Is it a goal kick? He pointed to the spot and he didn't move towards it. So I was like, is that going to be a penalty or is that going to be a goal kick? And thankfully... It was a goal kick. It's half time and Brazil are leading 1-0 over Serbia. They have been the better team. But we've had a few problems getting forward and actually getting past their team. Remember playing Brazil is no easy task on any of the World Cup games. Coutinho out on the wing. Crosses it in. Please get there. No. And they header it in. What was that defender doing? I don't think he was really paying attention. And I think Neymar scored that looping header to make it 2-0. And it seems like right now anyway that this lead for Serbia is not going to be overturned. Good header by Neymar. Like pretty decent. I don't know what my defender was doing. Turns. But I just couldn't get the shot off. And this is a story for Serbia in this match. They just can't get past Brazil's defence. I mean, Brazil are a good team anyway, so I kind of expected it, but I wanted a little bit of competitiveness. Crossed in, and it's struck, but Alisson, what a save. We go for it. Oh, Alisson, double save. Are you kidding me? And that's it. Brazil have eliminated us 
2-0 and um, yeah, too strong for us in this game. Defensively sound and didn't let us do anything, which is basically all Brazil highlights here. Literally all Brazil. I barely had any highlights apart from Alisson pulling out a save. So what happened in the other matches then? Denmark beat England 1-0 and obviously we lost. Uh, Spain beat Portugal and uh, Belgium beat the Netherlands. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this run with Serbia. If you did, then give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here with notifications on. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.